And shout out to Hoop Sharky, man. I'm gonna add you to the to the crew, man. This crew called Hoop Sharky. They've been they've been getting at it, man. They go they the ones that's gonna grill you, man, because they they majority are all Houston people. So that's that's shout out to Hoop Sharky. Shout out to Hoop Sharky. What's up everybody, it's your boy Hoop Jargon back with another video. And before I get into this crazy content, man, take a second to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when these videos drop, baby. And I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. Coach Prime, Coach Prime, Coach Prime. Oh my God! And let the church say hallelujah. <laughs> Coach Prime has just pulled off getting the number one recruit in America. Not the number one recruit, from this school, not the number one recruit in this position, the number one recruit overall. We talking about Travis Hunter, the lockdown corner out of Georgia. <laughs> Florida State, you thought you had a friend. Dion came and took them right up under their feet, dude. Y'all gotta understand this, man. Rivals has them as five-star, number one consensus player that's gonna enter college football next year. And he is going to the Jackson State University. Can you believe this? Six foot one, 170 lockdown corner with ball skills like a receiver. Going to Jackson State University. Now this is playing off what I already, the video that me and my boy Between the Game Sports did saying about how the primetime effect is going over HBCU football at large. And now we're seeing and he said this last year that, you know, you thought this class is good. You ain't seen nothing yet. And a lot, of, I'm not going to lie. You know what, Jackson State fans, I'm going to give y'all y'all flowers. Y'all been talking that noise all the time. Y'all been saying he's going to come bigger and better. And I knew he was going to at least equal what he did. But this right here is just unprecedented. This is unprecedented. You got the best high school football player coming to an HBCU. That is crazy. And it's not his second stop. He's coming right off the rip. And as he's shown on, uh, he confirmed this on uh, Instagram, I believe, saying about the legacy of the swag that he wants to uphold. And he's not wrong. There's been greats all the time. And I name these on these channels all the time. There's no need to run down the names. But it's good to see a young brother like Mr. Hunter want to come and be a part of the HBCU legacy, the swag in particular. And I don't know, man. I had to drop this video real quick because I'm just, I, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. Now, the sky's the limit with Jackson State's program, man. And <laughs> I'm happy to be two years in reporting this because it is a phenomenal story and I'm excited again this is probably leads to more losses for my prayer you Panthers but that's all right the bigger picture is swag football and HBCU football going to the next level so it's just gonna be great times man uh Travis Hunter salute to you brother it's gonna be great times out there in Jackson Mississippi man so y'all better get y'all season tickets that's all I gotta say who jogging I'm out peace